Cool, so uh, I've been in Bangkok for a few days now and trained at a couple different gyms. Uh, I checked out Yakao, which is a Sanchai's gym, and yesterday and then today I went to the Muay Thai Academy, um, both places which were within a mile walk of where we're staying. Uh, and I just figured for this part of the trip I would, you know, go to the local gyms that are near where we're at and just check them out and, you know, see what it's like and get a variety of looks and training partners and such. I did two weeks straight at Tiger, so while in Bangkok I wanted to switch it up a bit. Um, so far what I've noticed at both gyms is that they're less structured, the classes. Um, for the afternoon classes it's just been like show up between 3 and 7 and work out. Uh, so at both it was it was show up I showed up right at the start of uh, th right at three o'clock and started jumping rope and then 15, 20 minutes in there'll be a little warm up and then you kind of get thrown to whatever. At Yakao it was uh, we did uh, like pad sessions with the trainers and I, I did like three or four rounds of that and then I got to spar with uh, one of like the older veteran Thai trainers which was really cool. Um, he, we were going super light obviously but it was just interesting to see how tricky he was and how tight his defense was. And then today it was like 40 minutes of clinch work and then some bag work. We had the day that I knew would come at some point, which was, you know, everyone says that you go to Thailand, you get thrown around in the clinch. Um, and over at Tiger, most of the people I was working with were uh, Muay Thai guys. Uh, the, let, me, let me think how to phrase this. At Tiger, the level was a little different than the room I was in today. It was more mixed, and the Muay Thai guys, a lot of them were not living here. They were visiting, or they were MMA guys like myself. Um, and so because of that, my wrestling and my jiu-jitsu skill, mostly my wrestling, my, my strength of posture and such, uh, was enough that I was really able to do very well in the clinch and generally fight to either double underhooks or a double collar tie and control from there pretty well. Um, and my dumps to the mat wouldn't be classic Muay Thai, but I would manage to throw a couple people down again, just off the strength of wrestling. Um, and I would compare it to, you know, you get like a good high school collegiate wrestler who goes and does jujitsu, and they can, they can handle people, you know, they can handle some blue belts and maybe even some not great purple belts. But then you get to that level where you go, where they go against someone real good and all the stuff they're good at just backfires and it, they're, they're handled. And that was me today. Um, so I got tossed around a good bit by some of the more veteran Muay Thai guys. I think from what I could tell, a lot of them were active fighters, um, which is awesome. I mean, I'm down with that. Uh, and so the three of the guys I worked with today were really, really good and swept me a few times and were just real tricky. And it was, it was a different look from the clinch, which I appreciated. Uh, the one guy, I don't know what his, if he, you know, if he had a problem in general or if he didn't like me or if he was just a bit of a dick. But he was going real hard and throwing pretty rough knees. I didn't get hurt or anything, and I'm not a, a confrontational or argumentative person, but I was about as irritated as I get, just to say pretty mild. Um, but I wanted to just hit a single leg and try to throw him or something, but it's not a good look to go to someone else's gym and start a scene. So I just sucked it up and dealt with my two or three rounds of that and then moved on. You know, it's one thing when someone's kind of goofy and bad, but when they're goofy and good, and a little bigger than you, that's a problem. Um, but it all worked out. Uh, I got some real good clinch work in today, and I, I had a lot of fun working with the people who were much better than me at it.
Yeah, so uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so it's a rest day, no Muay Thai, and then Monday we're going to be going to the Attaché Gym. I might be pronouncing that terribly. I might have pronounced every single Thai phrase and word in this entire series poorly. Um, you'll have to bear with me there. But uh, as I understand it, it's one of the top gyms in the city, uh, and I'm really excited to go give it a shot. Yeah, so today we are at a floating market in Bangkok, and I'm going to be trying the snakehead fish. It's a, a very popular local fish. If you remember maybe 10 years ago, there was some controversy because these are the same fish that kind of were taking over the uh, ecosystem in Florida, and they can kind of like crawl up on land and breathe air. They're pretty durable and weird, but they're supposed to be delicious. Uh, so I'm going to give one a shot. So it's going to be 220 baht for this, which is about 7 US dollars for an entire fish, which in my book is pretty good. Whole salt crusted snakehead fish, you get a couple sauces, um, it's a massive amount of food and I'm super excited to try it. Dig in. I am butchering this fish. But yeah, it's very good. Um, this is a ton of food, and I'm thankful that I'm sharing it with multiple people. Uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, tender, and just a, just a white fish. It's a very soft, subtle flavor. I dig it. I'm glad I got it. Let's, let's go, guys. You know, before I... Uh, before I came to Thailand, I, I did a lot of research. I read some books, watched a ton of videos, and uh, I made a list of maybe 20 or 30 foods I wanted to try while I was here. And I think I've gotten to almost all of them, and this is one of the last major ones to check off the list. Um, super excited about it, and this is one of the things that uh, Bourdain ate while he was in Bangkok. Couldn't figure out exactly where, but it doesn't matter. Salt-crusted uh, salt crusted snakehead fish one of the classics and super glad to be trying it.